Great squad and no. Grime didn't quite realize he's gonna walk into that little lava uh, pool there. You know, it's okay. maybe he just trying to get somewhere fast. You know, it's okay. He just took the free damage. Everything's all good. Someone else is close. He saw the guys drop and look at this airbox calling it out. Lasering. It's one star shot. And immediately, <laughs> Airwax using that incredible precision to rip him out of the sky. So you know who's close. Marshawn does have a teammate, and that's Ninja, who's right above now, putting fire down on both of these guys. Can he be clutch here? Heavy Snipe comes out, takes a little bit of fall damage. Great grenades down there as well. One is going to connect, see. He's got to try and bank them back so they're fracturing as much of the build as possible. But look at this, he's like, I honestly, I'm not in a great position. Marshawn's already gone. I just probably need to bail on the entire situation. He's got the launch pad monster, but look at this. They're just make, keeping him from making decisions, right? Keeping him isolated, making sure he can't leave. They're using so much, too. There's another team from up above! Oh, this might be it for Ninja as he is now backed against the wall. The wall replacement does happen. Up to the high ground, he goes! And Airwax beats him with the combat to the face. Down goes Ninja and Marshawn Lynch for making the wrong rotation. I think Ninja might have stayed around a little bit. He probably wanted to try and go for the card because he did have the launch pad, right? He could have just launched that up and out, but... In the day, hindsight is 2020. Kiva here and his dual partner, Josh Hart. Looks like someone's trying to get a little bit cheeky right now. I love what he's doing here. Tifu is in the pocket right now, really putting up the pressure. He's just got his teammate Josh Hart over safely in the distance, putting down fire here so Tifu can get these balls, try and get these shots. That's one. Can he get the second? And he does. Tifu with four huge eliminations right now. See. Every elimination is worth a point. That's right. If I had to guess, it's probably in the lead right now. That's right. There's only so many points. We've got Airwax, who has four eliminations. Nick 30 and Tifu. Wow. Tied with four. Everyone's popping off. Speaking of Nick 30 you've got Jarvis very close by. This is so scary. If they're not careful, they could very easily meet their end here. Look at this. And Mayers, don't forget, Mayers is on, over here on Jarvis's left. He's ready to respond. Listen, crowd, let me tell you, Jarvis on the controller is absolutely scary. He is so good. If, I, if, I, if I'm being honest, Nick is probably lucky Jarvis wants to back up right here because his shot can punish. No, I am not kidding, guys. This will be a very intense battle if it does pop off, but dude, let's talk about our Elon leaders. Airwalks, World Cup qualifier, Nick 830. The largest, one of the largest on the YouTube community. Fortnite and Tifu, obviously another staple person in the community. They are leading right now and popping off, and not far behind them is Nick Merckx, guys, with three eliminations. So, it's going down right here. Controller gang, if you're here in the building, let me hear you scream for Nick Merckx. You gotta send him your energy! There he is on screen! He sends a shot out over on the Grime, and look at this, he wants to get aggressive. Kyle, his duel is down. But look, Nick has been in these types of situations before. He's been competing all qualifier long. And I mean, he's been a competitive veteran across a multitude of titles. Yeah, but he's, this is this is crazy. Look at the map, guys. There are so many players migrating to the Sunny Steps area because this is the center of the next save zone. And unfortunately, Kyle, Kyle's already gone. If I had to guess, Nick is kind of moving towards what might be the, the respawn bus, but look at this, just duos everywhere. Yeah, he's probably honestly not gonna get the chance here. You see him right on the other side of Big Star. Big Star is here. These are two titans of the Fortnite community. And I, I, I gotta know what is going to unfold right now because keep in mind, Big Star is, first of all, Martin Star is gone. But look at his HP. He has not topped back off the 75. Nick, though, he's got that massive HP advantage. Big Star gonna try and use the impulse to make something happen. Look at this. Oh, you no. saw Nick heard it. He's like, yo, there's someone in here. Where are you? I need to shut you down. Big Star is sitting so still right now. Nick? I'm surprised we can see more of his face. This is really cat and mouse, and and Nick is the cat hunting right now. <laughs> Big Star is the mouse in the corner. Okay. Hidden away in his little tunnel here, but lucky for him. Nick's just, all right, he's gonna keep it calm. He doesn't have a duo. He doesn't know Big Star is by himself, right? Yeah. For all he knows, that could be a fresh duo. So playing it nice and safe here, going for placement points right now. Someone's above his monster. There are people all the way around Sunny Steps. 
And the new safe zone is putting us just on top of it. Everyone else on the outside is going to start making their way in. Power up on top. Looks like Tabor and Brian yeah, there has gone down, but Lemonix's oh, duo is ready to respond and get the revive. Tifu and Josh Hart, they are topping themselves off with the campfire. This is really important, right? You want to make sure with, when you're going into these next rotations that you have as much resources and HP, basically, to work with heading into these next fights. Because that one point of HP could absolutely make the difference. And look at the strat right here. Keeping Josh Hart safe, almost like protect the Prez. Because Josh Hart's I like this. Yes, Tifu's on foot, if anyone even. Looks his way. He's got that heavy sniper. He's going to punish him. Josh Hart just moving on up, getting to that safety zone. He's leaving Tifu behind. He was getting shot up a few times here. I wonder if so, the guys are the baller. I was going to say, he passed by an empty bar. This is huge. Okay. They both got ballers. This means that they can be very aggressive in the rotations or extremely safe. They can go and hide if they need to build enough time. Because remember, top 15 is the first round of placements, and we're halfway there. Yep, Tp already marking the next zone for his teammate. I love that kind of interaction. Just let him know, hey, this is where we got to get to. And talk about places you want to be, the edge. The edge, right? Look at Jarvis here. Jarvis has got two eliminations already. He's doing really good. Aiden up on top, doing his best impersonation, rebuilding Tilted Towers on top of Sunny Steps. RIP Tilted. But also, like, what's up, Neil Tilted? I'm about it. Uh, 31 players really in this game. 31 duels, excuse me, 54 players. So check out this safe zone, right? You've got a lot of players already inside on Sunny, but there's even more that are coming in right now. Because this, this zone is closing. Another 53 seconds, and then we're going to get a smaller zone to work with. You see, and, and normally we kind of hop in right now and just take you guys straight to the action, but this is how intense it is to even make it to these final moments. Interactions. Shift everything. Okay. What we're looking at? Sunny steps. Cloak and Dylan France is still alive, and look who's next to them. It's Tifu and Josh Hart. Could we see these two go head to head? I want to see this so bad. Look at this cloak getting maybe a little bit aggressive, trying to scout out Dylan doing this. Dylan, I like what Dylan's doing. He's watching the other side. He's like, all right, they're out there. You're out there. We've got you. If cloak aggravates that duo, they have a heavy snipe. The key to open any box might be a huge mistake here, but cloak just peeking around right now. It's so crazy. You don't know how much danger. All of them don't really realize how much danger is all around them. These moments. I think what's going to be key here as well is that Storm Flip. He's got one in his inventory. We saw some recent changes to it. Now, don't forget, these guys also have ballers. We saw Dylan kind of playing decoy a little bit. They're just going to rotate out the back. They're like, you know what? Let's get another position. This is just too hot right now. Let's be able to look at this. There's just people all over the place. It's still so dense. Yep, man. This is where the everyone puts on the brakes because you don't get any placement for quite some time, right? The way this format works, you have to play nice and slow to make it to these end games. Every elimination is worth the point, but when you're this far into the late game, it's just too risky. Oh man, wild card here. Guys, if you're a fan of Tim the Tat, man, let's hear you right now. Send him your energy, he needs it. That's right, crowd. You see, you can tell he's like, yeah, they're cheering for us. That's right, Tim. We love you. Also, happy Father's Day. Quick follow-up there. Now, don't forget, they've got, got no eliminations. But that's still fine. Yeah, you he's got plenty of time. You want to know what I observed? They are not together. They are not. His teammate is way off on the corner, and they got split up from each other. So that's going to be interesting. RL Grime in airwalks here. Got to touch base with them down in the player lounge. I'm very just... Shy, he didn't even want to get on the interview, but Airwalks is all about it. That's what I expect from a World Cup qualifier. Now, look at Airwalks leading the push. This is what I love, the pro player saying, follow my lead. Just follow my lead, and bam, yoinks that base right from underneath their feet. And it's his now. He's got some high ground. He did lose his teammate, though, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. Grime builds right up. Now they're at six eliminations as a team. Man, this is really good. So I like that the that Airwax is going in first. You know, Airwax is, is so comfortable in these situations. He's always been competing again. A qualifier going to the finals in New York City. So he's like, I'm, I'm completely happy to go in first, right? I'm either going to run into their pro or their other player. 
And then at that point, it's like a 50 50, right? He might take the shot. Maybe he goes on the defense and just creates a little nest like he did here for him. And Grime, really great stuff. I like to see it. Now, this is where things get funny. All right, this next, okay, cool. The next circle, we're going back into Sunny Steps. Okay, over old builds. Dude, look at that Elam feet. Loser foot just picked up two more. She's holding it down. She said she would. Listen, Loser Fruit, in case you don't know, she is an absolute slayer. She was part of the Lava Record Company yesterday. They won her. We got Jordan Fisher, her JD, and Lester, the golden ticket winner. And at the end, the, the team collectively said Loser Fruit was the person that held off squads by herself. She was the reason we won this entire thing. That's right. That's what Courage JD said. I'm just repeating what Courage said. Hey, I mean, if, if Courage is to be that humble then you have to agree and appreciate that response but airwalk still has that sniper he's putting down some shots didn't quite connect right there they're hunting this world cup qualifier is on the hunt right now traveling from across the world really oh takes up the launch pad that's the death trap for all these players back here takes out another launch pad and they're putting down pressure no one's safe now one Elim right there, can he get a second? That is gonna get followed up. He takes out a World Cup Whopper, Bucky goes down. The action is insane. Watch his elimination feed in the top left. You've seen not only Airwax and Grime eliminate people left and right, but Tifu as well. He's on six Elims. Airwax is on seven. Nick Merckx and Nick830 are both in this tied with five eliminations. There are still so many players left to be cleaned up, and we're finally getting down nearer and nearer to top 15. Just think about that monster. This is the first game, and we're not even at top 15 yet. No one's gotten placement, guys. Top 15 duo is going to get them placement. There are 20 teams remaining in this game. That means there are loads of people that are solo at this point, already lost their teammate, like Gotaga, top, sitting there by himself right now. Airwax does have another player knocked right by him. Grime is also very weak right now, so they're in a little 2v2 scuffle in that close quarter right there. This is just a nice little aerial view of everything that's going on on the edge of the map. All of your favorite players, Symphony, still in it. Oh, man. Luz Selka is still in it. Monster, you know what time it is. It's just about time for that moving circle. We get a nice view at Nick830. What's going on with him? He, Look knocked, at... he knocked Josh Hart, yep. so Tifa lost his teammate. But this is Tifa we're talking about. He can clutch up things. Now look, Nick is out of materials. Six eliminations and only a single magazine left in the AR, but plenty of slugs in that combat shotgun. He's gonna look and try and navigate these and catch players off guard if he can, because he desperately needs materials. A player behind, 102 to the face, that's Cody Walker. He is down. Nick cannot build right here, Zeke. He just, he's looking, he's looking for anything. He needs to make something happen, he needs the material. Cody Walker went down, but he's so far away, and Nick gets traded out by Cyber PK. Oh my. A friend. Team here with seven eliminations and material galore. Ammo, he's got it all, but so does Airwise. Need to, and Cloak and Dylan Francis on this, Jarvis as well. So many massive names, Aiden here too, Symphony. News out, there's so many names, Juju getting dropped. And look, Tifu goes down, Airwalks took him down. Airwalks is on 10 eliminations, he took out Tifu, took out Juju, and he's still going, he's got the high ground. 900 materials, someone is behind him, what's he gonna do? Just builds up right now, trying to find a little moment to kind of gather himself, right, catch back up. And off he goes. He's got shadow bombs. Is he gonna start rotating? He's got to. He's got to go perfect. Out. That's right. Let everyone else battle it out. You just ignore them all. You're one duel away. Cloak and Aiden both go solo. down. They go down the crossfire. It's a free for all right now. Just like you said. Oh my! Can he get this one right here? That's huge. Finds another one. He's at 11 eliminations deep. He finds someone else in the zone. That's another top four situation. That was Lachlan. He shuts him down. Right now, Airwax is in such a commanding and powerful position up on the high ground. And don't forget, this storm flip is just eating this entire zone. There's only so much space these players can work with. He's just waiting, waiting for a full set. It's Symphony. He shuts him down. It's a 1v1. Who is the other player that's left? Here it is. He's going to go with the X. Oh! Airwax with the 14 elimination victory for the first game here, Zeke.
That is why he's a World Cup qualifier. Bon les gars, on va s'arrêter sur cette première vidéo où est-ce que j'explique, on commente, les gars, allez, salut tout le monde.